Afghan cuisine is largely based upon the nation's chief crops, such as wheat, maize, barley and rice. Accompanying these staples are native fruits and vegetables as well as dairy products such as milk, yogurt dew and whey. Kabuli pala is the national dish of Afghanistan. The nation's culinary specialties reflect its ethnic and geographic diversity. Afghanistan is known for its high-quality pomegranates, grapes, and sweet, rugby football-shaped melons. History Major foods Rice dishes Rice dishes are culturally the most important parts of a meal, and therefore much time and effort is spent creating them. Wealthier families will eat one rice dish per day, and royalty spent much time on rice preparation and invention, as evidenced in the number of rice dishes in their cookbooks. Weddings and family gatherings usually feature several rice dishes, and reputations can be made in the realm of rice preparation. Topic. Types of rice dishes Rice is boiled in salted water, then drained and finally baked in a brick or clay oven with oil, butter and salt added. This method creates a fluffy rice with each grain separated, while a golden brown caramelized crust of rice tadig, develops at the bottom of the baking dish. Chalo is served mainly with kormas korma, stews or casseroles. Topic. Pala Cook the same as chalo, but meat and stock, korma, herbs, or a combination are blended in before the baking process. This creates elaborate colors, flavors, and aromas from which some rices are named. Caramelized sugar is also sometimes used to give the rice a rich brown color. Examples include Kabuli pala, a national dish. Meat and stock is added, and topped with fried raisins, slivered carrots, and pistachios. Yakni pala, meat and stock added. Creates a brown rice. Zamarad pala, spinach korma mixed in before the baking process, hence zamarad or emerald. Bor pala, korma lawand added. Creates a yellow rice. Banjan e rumi pala, korma banjan e rumi tomato korma added during baking process. Creates red rice. Sirka pala, similar to yakni pulao, but with vinegar and other spices. Shabet pala, fresh dill, raisins added during baking process. Narenj pala, a sweet and elaborate rice dish made with saffron, orange peel, pistachios, almonds and chicken. Mosh pala, a sweet and sour pulao baked with mung beans, apricots, and bulgur wheat. Exclusively vegetarian. Alu balu pala sweet rice dish with cherries and chicken. Topic. Korma 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 is a stew or casserole, usually served with chalau rice. It is always onion and tomato based, onions are fried, tomato is added, including a variety of fruits, spices, and vegetables, depending on the recipe. And finally the main ingredient is added, which can be meat or, and vegetables. The onion is caramelized and creates a richly colored stew. There are over 100 kormas. Below are some examples. Korma e gosht, literally translates to meat korma, is usually the main korma served with pala in gatherings. Korma e alu bikara wa dalnakad, onion based, with sour plums, lentils, and cardamom. Veal or chicken. Korma e nadru, onion based, with yogurt, lotus roots, cilantro, and coriander. Lamb or veal. Korma e lawand, onion based, with yogurt, turmeric, and cilantro. Chicken, lamb, or beef. Korma e sabzi, sautéed spinach and other greens. Lamb. Korma e shalgam, onion based, with turnips and sugar, sweet and sour taste. Lamb, note that Afghan karahi curry does exist. The difference between korma and karahi is that unlike korma, karahi is prepared in a wok like cookware in which all ingredients are added at the same time fried and then let simmer. While korma, oil and onion are caramelized first and then tomato and spices are added, and finally the main ingredient. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Mantu. Known as kamirbab and often eaten in the form of dumplings. These native dishes are popular, but due to the time-consuming process of creating the dough for the dumplings, they are rarely served at large gatherings such as weddings, but for more special occasions at home. Mantu – dumplings filled with onion and ground beef or lamb. Mantu is steamed and usually topped with a tomato-based sauce and a yogurt or korut-based sauce. The yogurt-based topping is usually a mixture of yogurt and garlic and split chickpeas. The korut based sauce is made of goat cheese and is also mixed with garlic. A korut and yogurt mixture will sometimes be used. The dish is then topped with dried mint and coriander. Ashak, a dish associated with kabul. Dumplings filled with a mixture largely compromising of leeks. Ashak is topped with garlic mint korut or a garlic yogurt sauce, sautéed tomatoes, red kidney beans and a well-seasoned ground meat mixture. Each family or village will have its own version of mantu and ashak, which creates a wide variety of dumplings in the form of noodles. Pasta is also commonly found in Aush, a soup served with several regional variations. Topic: <laughs> Kebab Afghan kebab is most often found in restaurants and outdoor vendor stalls. The most widely used meat is lamb. Recipes differ with every restaurant. Afghan kebab is served with naan, rarely rice, and customers have the option to sprinkle sumac or gora, dried ground sour grapes, on their kebab. The quality of kebab is solely dependent on the quality of the meat. Pieces of fat from the sheep's tail are usually added with the lamb skewers to add extra flavor. Other popular kebabs include the lamb chop, ribs, kofta ground beef, and chicken, all of which are found in better restaurants. Chapli kebab, a specialty of eastern Afghanistan, is a patty made from beef mince. It is a popular barbecue meal in both Pakistan and Afghanistan. The word chapli comes from the Pashto word chaprik, which means flat. It is prepared flat and round, and served with naan. The original recipe of chapli kebab dictates a half meat or less half flour mixture which renders it lighter in taste and less expensive. Topic: <coughs> Kurut. Kurut or korut is a reconstituted dairy product. It was traditionally a byproduct of butter made from sheep or goat milk. The residual buttermilk remaining after churning of the butter is soured further by keeping it at room temperature for a few days, treated with salt, and then boiled. The precipitated casein is filtered through cheesecloth, pressed to remove liquid, and shaped into balls. The product is thus a very sour cottage cheese. Kurut is hard and can be eaten raw. It is typically served with cooked Afghan dishes such as ashak, mantu, and kishri korut, among others. Topic. Other Afghan food items Topic. Drinks Dew also known by some Afghans as shamla, slamba, is a cold drink made by mixing water with yogurt and then adding fresh or dried mint. Some variations of dew include the addition of crushed or diced cucumber chunks. It is the most widely consumed drink in Afghanistan, especially during lunchtime in the summer season. Dew can be found at most Afghan grocery stores and is served at several restaurants. <laughs> By region and ethnicity <laughs> Pashtun cuisine Pashtuns are the largest ethnic group of Afghanistan, constituting roughly about 42% of the country population. A major dish in Pashtun culture is sobat, used in traditional gatherings and events. Other major Pashtun dishes, some of which overlap with other ethnicities and regions, include lamb skewered saji and chapli kebab. Dampakt is steamed meat kadi kebab as the Afghan shashlik, grilled on an open fire on a spit. Pashtun cuisine is meat heavy and is often offered with caramelized rice. There are regional variants. Balani, for example, is called differently by area in the west and south. It's often called Borigan and Nor and East Balani. Common summer beverages include slamba, also known in Persian as dew, a drink consisting of liquid yogurt, mint, bedring, Afghan cucumber. 
Sherbet is an ice sugared cold drink. Sheer yak is a sweet ice like product literally translating to cold milk. Hazara cuisine Hazara people in central Afghanistan in the region of Hazarajat and western Pakistan Baluchistan province have their own food, Hazaragi cuisine. Since Hazara people share some similarities with neighboring regional cuisines, the food is mainly influenced by Central Asian, Persian and South Asian cuisines. However, the way of cooking and culinary methods are different in some of the dishes between these neighboring cuisines. In Hazara's cuisine, Hazara people used a large proportion of high-protein foods such as meat and dairy products as well as a plenty of oil when cooking. Rather than a wide selection of dishes, their meal usually consists of only one type of food. Below are some famous dishes in Hazaragi cuisines. Ash, a healthy food has its own taste, one of the most common food in a Hazara cuisine's restaurant. Ash is easily made of flour, therefore, some housewives homemade ash and sell it to retails to earn money. As the main ingredient is flour, patients can eat it easily without any concern. It is also a feast food and served with minced meat, vegetable, and lenses at parties. Dalda, the most favorite food for adults. People eat it with hands. It looks like wheat when it is raw, but change the display after cooked. It's served with some boiled oil in the middle and has its own taste. Nantar, yakni, yakni can be a soup of kitchen, goat, cow or sheep. After putting some bread nan in the bowl with the soup, it become nantar, refers to bread as wet. The food can be tasted with spoon, but it tasted better with hands. Halwa esamanak, not a ordinary food, not easily made as you have to be strong enough to mix all the ingredients with spoon, but made it as daily food for dinner or lunch. Halwa refers to holidays like maharam holy month or funeral. Topic. Special occasions Serving tea and white sugared almonds is a familiar custom during Afghan festivals. Eid Korban is celebrated at the end of the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca, when families and friends come visiting each other to drink a cup of tea together and share some nuts, sweets, and sugared almonds called noql. See also Culture of Afghanistan <laughs>